Coronavirus cases continue to climb in Indiana. More than 350,000 positive cases confirmed since the pandemic hit in our area in March. Now state leaders are changing the way they respond to the virus. It's our top story first at four. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kayla Sullivan and I'm Zach Myers. Darius Johnson was at the governor's press conference today. Uh, the first one since he was re uh, returned are required to quarantine after someone on his security detail tested positive. Darius joins us live at the state house with this update. Darius. Hey there, good evening, Zach and Kayla. You know, Indiana's top doctor acknowledged that COVID-19 still has a very firm grip on our state when it comes to the number of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths all reaching new highs. Now, the color-coded map that you're taking a look at right now represents the level of community spread right here in Indiana. Right now, 16 counties are in red. That's the worst category. One county is in yellow, and the rest are orange. The number of hospitalizations within the last month have nearly doubled. Right now, there are more than 3,400 Hoosiers hospitalized, and there are a number of hospitalizations on diversion as well. That means that they don't have enough beds to care for new patients at this time. The number of deaths, those are very startling, especially among residents at long-term care facilities. Today, 91 new deaths were reported, and on Tuesday, Indiana reached a record of 142. That's almost 6,000 Hoosiers who aren't here this year because of this virus. Each of these individuals has a name, a face, a family who loves them and is grieving. Many of them are Hoosiers over the age of 60, but no age group is immune. Again, these numbers are not a result of the Thanksgiving holiday. Experts aren't expecting to see those effects for at least another week or so. Now, along with these high numbers, there is also an influx of testing at this time. Now, to help with those delays, the State Department of Health did discuss onboarding new labs. Now, that will have the potential to alleviate a lot of stress on other labs right here in the state that are currently overwhelmed and trying to turn around those results a lot faster than they currently we are right now we are live at the Indiana State House. I'm Darius Johnson, Fox 59 News.